Hey, welcome to another Flare Court Media Tech thing. Today I'm looking at the Anchor PowerCore Plus 26800 battery pack. And this has been out for a little while, but I recently picked one up because uh, in a week I'm going to go climb that mountain finally. And I want to record my journey and I have several cameras and my phone and a Garmin inReach device that all use rechargeable batteries. And uh, I have used this Easy Ac or Easy ACC battery pack for about three or four years. Uh, it served me well. It doesn't do high speed charging because it's um, about four or five years old uh, before that was really kind of a thing. But also this is only 10,000 milliamp hours. And so that'll charge uh, like my Pixel 3 XL here. I'll charge it oh about three times maybe, not quite three full times, which is good, but I need something a lot more spacious than this. And so that sent me down the rabbit hole of looking at the ultra high capacity power cores. So let me <laughs> pull it out here. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's quite big, especially compared to this one, but is chock full of batteries. And the reason I went with this one specifically is because I am taking my Fuji X-T3 mirrorless camera with me. And this can be recharged via USB-C. However, it needs to be of a power delivery capacity. Power delivery is a type of charging and it is requires USB-C. And power delivery is like what you will charge your USB-C powered laptops with, or it gives you the high speed of an iPad the charging. So it lets you charge things very rapidly. And this thing can also be charged via power delivery. And so it comes with, comes with a bag to keep it all in. It's kind of squishy, so it gives a little protection. Uh, then it comes with a 30 watt power delivery capable wall charger. It's USB-C on that end. And then it comes with a micro USB to USB-A and a USB-C to C. And so then on the end you get um, two USB-A capable of quick charge. So they can quick charge a phone. This USB-C is where the magic happens. And so by having this and being capable of the power delivery, you can charge lower sized laptops with this. You can also charge cameras and things like that. Now there's also out there another Anchor 26800 power core. So 26800 means there's 26,800 milliamp hours in here. It is safe to take on an airplane. It meets the spec of that. But there's another one that looks almost identical for half the price. And the difference between them, again, is that power delivery. So the, the other one comes with three USB-A ports that you use to charge things. It doesn't have USB-C. The other one also has two USB micro plugs and so you can use two micro plugs to charge it faster because uh, like this this one takes quite a long time using a micro plug and so one of these would take forever to charge but uh, if you with the other one use the two micro plugs you can charge it in six hours if you use just the one it probably take double i suppose uh, this because it has the power delivery capable so you can charge this one in four point five hours compared to the six of the other one. So even though things can charge from the USB-A ports uh, compared to the non-power delivery one, the fact that this has power delivery and can charge so much faster, uh, it's gonna be great because I'm going to be out hiking all day and I'm going to come back to camp exhausted. I'm going to recharge my batteries so that they're ready for tomorrow. And I, the quicker I can charge up one battery and swap it out with the other one and get that charged up, means the quicker I can go to sleep. <laughs> so the high speed charging of this compared to the non-power delivery one is another bonus for me. This one meets my needs for what I'm going to be charging and also if I were to somehow drain this and manage to find an outlet somewhere along the way, then I could recharge this one much quicker and only carry one cable. So this is capable of charging my Pixel 3 XL's 3430 milliamp battery uh, 7.8 times, uh, which is quite a lot. And 
My phone is the biggest battery of anything I have. These Fujifilm batteries are just 1,200. Uh, the other things I'm bringing is like a GoPro that has a battery this size. Uh, so this is a, the most capacious thing I have. So what I'm doing right now to get ready for the trip is I'm making sure I grabbed a handful of cables because I want to make sure that whatever cables I decide to put in my pack that they're going to be able to charge everything I have because uh, it would be terrible if I plug something in and some cables are not created equal so we have a USB A to type C here but we also have a USB A to type C and if you look at the ends this one is a USB 3.0 plug and this one's a USB 2.0 plug and I don't think this USB 2.0 is capable of the high-speed charging all right well I'm going to try out a couple of these cables here so this is the USB 2.0 to see and my phone will tell me right down here at the bottom if it's quick charging or regular charging and then I can just ditch those cables that aren't quick charging because when I'm out on the field I won't be able to charge quickly so we'll just Plug that in right there. So this actually says charging slowly. Oh, okay. Sped, sped up a little bit, charging. Sometimes it takes a moment for it to realize the speed it needs. You can see on there that there's three dots lit up, so that means there's 30% battery life right now. So yes, this one is just charging with this USB 2.0 to C at charging speed. So now let's try a 3.0 cable. Well, it also says charging. So this using the A port just may not be, because phones use proprietary charging methods. Uh, not every, like a Samsung high speed charger will not high speed charge this. Just like a, sometimes a iPad or iPhone high capacity or high speed charger does not work with Android phones for high speed charging. They use different technologies. Some of them are proprietary. Uh, so that's why it's worth checking. Okay, so charging in the USB-A, it didn't matter which cable I had. Let's try out that power delivery port. So we're going to take the supplied with, with the charger, uh, USB-C assist to push the button before you plug in the type C device to turn on the C plug. So now let's plug that in. And already it says charging rapidly. So that's what you're paying for with that C port. So I just wanna spot check a couple more things. Like one, I wanna make sure that my camera will charge. Fujifilm actually recommends this charger along with a smaller capacity one that's also capable of the power delivery as the officially supported uh, charger for the X-T3. But uh, you can see the light there. So that means it's charging. It's perfect. Just out of curiosity, I want to see if the USB-A plugs would be able to charge it. Because that's why you're watching this. You want to know if this thing is worth picking up if it's going to be able to charge some of the devices you might have. Well, it's also capable of charging the camera in the USB-A port. So now I want to try out one more camera that I'm going to bring. This is my Canon SX740 HS, and it has the super telephoto lens. I think it's a 172 millimeter equivalent. And this one actually uses a micro USB. And I'm not even sure I can charge this via USB. And if I can't, then that's gonna cause some issues. But we'll plug that in there. And yep, the light's on. So I feel very confident in taking that cable and this charger and being able to charge all of my, my cameras that I'm bringing with me. But what would this be if we didn't push it to the limit and try it out on my MacBook Pro 15-inch 2018 model? 
this is not rated for a laptop this big, but I just wanted to see what would happen if we plug it in. So let me find my USB-C cable here. We'll plug it into the C port. If we listen, we should be able to hear if it's charging. It'll give a little ding. Tiny ding. Now, unfortunately, my battery is not dead. But up here, you can see that it is getting supplied by power. It's already at almost 100%. It's being supplied by power from the power adapter. Let me see if I can drain the battery a little bit real fast and see if we can actually take charge from this and stick it in there. Okay, so I drained the battery down to 97%, and let's plug this in. So I just calculated that it's going to take one hour and two minutes to charge on this 30 watt output. So clearly if you're using your laptop, this isn't going to be able to keep up. All you're going to be able to do is extend the power uh, of your laptop. Now again, 15 inch laptop on a smaller, uh, one of the 13 inch MacBook Pros or MacBook Air, if they even still make those, or some of the Windows USB-C powered laptops, those are probably going to be just fine. 45 watt or less power bricks, um, if that's what yours takes, this will be able to charge it. Not as fast, but it'll be able to fully charge the battery. And if I was really concerned about charging it quicker, I could obviously just shut the lid or turn it completely off and let it charge up while I'm not using it. One other thing that a lot of people will be asking is, can you charge the battery pack while charging something else? So let's give that a go. All right, so we'll plug this in. So it gives this little spinning light to indicate that it's charging. And then we'll take this and let's just try my phone again for test. Nothing. <laughs> No, no charging indication or anything down there. So no, you can't do pass-through charging or anything like that. One other thing you may be interested in is can it charge from more than one port at a time? So we've got two USB-A's in and let's plug the USB-C in. All right, so let's go with the C into my phone. This one into, I don't know, let's say my Osmo Pocket's probably Needs a little power. And I found my iPad, so let's plug that in. Okay, so the phone plugged in the USB-C port says charging rapidly. The light on the Osmo Pocket is flashing, saying it's charging. And the iPad Pro plugged into the other USB-A ports says that it's charging up there. So yeah, you can charge from all three power ports at the same time. Well, that's going to do it for this really quick and simple video. I just wanted to show you what the Anchor PowerCore Plus 26800 was capable of charging and uh, explain to you why I'm carrying this 20 ounce battery pack with me when I go camping. Because it is very heavy, but uh, the fact that it can just recharge most of my stuff is going to be worth it. I'm not going to even try using solar panels because one, they're slow charging, and two, I'm going to be camping in a very heavily forested area and so it would do me no good at all but if you want to follow along on more camping stuff uh, check out my blog at flarecourtmedia.com forward slash mountain hyphen climb and you can see more reviews as i get ready to go climb that mountain and uh, you can see how this performs out in the field if you'd like to pick up one of these yourself and also help out the channel, I'll have an affiliate link down in the video description down below where if you use that to get to Amazon, then a portion of the proceeds go to helping out the channel. It doesn't cost you any extra money at all. So if you appreciated this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other people find the video. And then while you're at it, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of the tech videos, camping videos, product reviews, travel vlogs that I do. But until next time, I'm doing what I love, keep doing what you love. Thanks for watching.